I've been challenged by Fraser to join the 10 tips in 10 days campaign. And what I'd like to give you tips on is how to practice self-care when suffering significant loss, maybe a dramatic change in your life, or even an end to something. Uh, grief is all of those things. And as a grief recovery specialist, one of the things that my clients tell me is that self-care is the last thing on their mind when they're going through uh, a grieving event. Uh, even for myself, when I suffered my own deep loss uh, three years ago when my husband Frank died, um, I did not practice self-care and I actually ended up in the hospital and then was ordered uh, to bed rest for about two weeks after I was released. And all of that was because not only was I emotionally uh, drained out and overwhelmed, um, but I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating, I wasn't drinking, um, and I was just so consumed in my grief um, that it affected my entire body. So my first tip for you today is that you understand that grief is a normal and natural reaction to loss of any kind. And so just honor that space, right? When you're going through something that is causing you so much pain, feel that pain. Honor that space of grief. Know that it's so normal and natural. Cry, right? If you need to cry, please cry because tears um, is a way of the, uh, the body releasing toxins. Um, and so it's okay, it's okay to cry and just honor that space. Uh, so that's my first tip uh, for practicing self-care. And um, I will talk to you again tomorrow and give you tip number two. Until then, take care.